let me introduce you with the Meditrack, a very small and uh, handy tool for the doctors for writing the prescriptions. Because I have noticed many of the doctors use the MS Word or uh, like Excel sheets uh, for writing the prescriptions. So I decided to have a very uh, handy tool for them. So the first thing that the doctors need to do is to go to the setup in which he can give the page title, for instance, his name and his credentials. Then the address, he can also put a logo over here. Uh, the appointment number, the Facebook link or the Twitter link if he wants. Then he clicks on the close button. Now the next thing is the prescription which is uh, used daily by the doctors. So the first thing over here is the visit date which is uh, the default date taken automatically by the system. The next thing is the uh, patient name. So let me write my name. Uh, the age is 62 years. Then the occupation is a drop down list. And this list will grow as the doctor enters the new entries. Now new entries can be made uh, The marital status is uh, married, gender is female, cell number is 2082, and any number, then the address is, for example, Bill Peshawar, uh, for example, and the district is Peshawar. Uh, this again will be a drop down list which can grow. Um, primary diagnosis is, for example, back uh, pain. Secondary diagnosis is nil, and the prescription uh, can give any prescription. For example, the grams, then the doses, then the duration. For example, then the symptoms will be the uh, another prescription. Uh, and this uh, list uh, can also be uh, can also grow as the doctor has new entries. Then, if there are some uh, lab uh, tests, uh, for example, they can also be. Prescription to the patient. Uh, if you have pre printed uh, prescription papers, uh, then the second option will be used, which will not display the titles and it will be printed on the pre printed uh, papers. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, uh, you will see the navigation uh, panel. Uh, for instance, if you see over here, it is saying record one of 1001. It means uh, you have 1001 records in this uh, database and you can go to the next and previous record. This is the first record, this is the last record and this is the previous record. Here is the next record or for any record number if you want to go just uh, put the record number. So this is the record number. Another facility in the software is that if you click on any field and you want to find uh, a person, for example, you will say control F and over here I will say Heather Ali, for example, and it will find for me a patient. If there are multiple patients, you can go to the next, here is the next uh, patient with the name Heather Ali and that's it, there are only two patients. So you can f have this search on any field, for example, you can uh, have it on the cell number if you go to the cell number here are different options look in the current field or current document match any part of the field or whole field or start of the field you can select uh, any options uh, search up and down uh, match case so you can select any of these options uh, for example i want to search for 03219032716 and here it is the patient is found on the cell number. So this is how we can find any patient in the entire database. Similarly, the doctors can have a list of the patients printed. Uh, this is month wise. For instance, for January, we have the visit date, serial number, patient name, and gender, address, etc. And then the doctor can also take the uh, monthly summary of the patients year for every year for instance for January there were 11 
male patients, 12 female patients, and a total was 23. And for the year 2020, the total was 263. So this will come for every year, and at the end, this will show all the patients uh, checked uh, so far. Similarly, there is a district-wise summary, uh, which, which will automatically be generated district and then male patients and female patients and total. So this is just a, a small tool developed for the doctors. If you have problem on operating the, the MediaTrack uh, software, uh, there is also a video available so the doctor can click on it here. And this is developed by the uh, town coder. This is a product of the town coder. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you how to install uh, this software. This software is actually a very, uh, very simple to install. There is no installation uh, required. All you need to do is to copy a file and that's it. So from where you can take this file, you can take the file from the uh, website that is the towncoder.com, go to towncoder.com. And in from this uh, website, go to the tools. Here are the tools. Now, there are different tools available on the towncoder.com. So here is the Meditrack tool. Uh, click on the tool and click come down and click on the download button. So there is a zip file over here. It will be downloaded. So if you go to the directory, uh, there is only one file that is the mediatrack.com. ACC DB. All you need to do is to extract this file to the folder uh, you want. For instance, I want to install it on the on, on this folder. So I will open the zip file and copy it over here. So now <coughs> we have this file. I have copied it to my own folder. So all you need to do. Now, you have only one file, that is the meditrack.accdb. Just double click on it and you will have this software open. So I hope you will enjoy uh, using this uh, small tool. It will be very helpful for 